You know what's out here. Might be worse. Might be better. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. But yeah. but go see. I tell the kids, go see what's out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Leave your neighborhood and go see what's out there. Yeah. Don't be afraid, but because yeah. they get so stuck in in a ratio of, of of blocks, right? You know, and in the neighborhood, every area is known as a different gang area. It's like, mm. oh, I'm in the where you live, or oh, I live in the, in the Rolling Sixties neighborhood. Mm. Where is that located, though? What's the street? Right. Oh, oh, my friend lives in the A Trade Gangster neighborhood. It's yeah. like that mentality. Uh, yeah. It's like no, it's eighty third. Yeah. It's 83rd in Normandy. Oh, yeah. you live off of uh, 65th and Western. That's where yeah. you live. But everything is a gang neighborhood, and, and they That's they box themselves in. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did it to themselves. They formed a community in themselves, and it just it became. I even hate to say it, but like it is what it is. It's, it's a narrow-minded thinking, and it needs to be broken. You know. Yeah. And I'm not saying it is with everyone. You know, some, there are people that do venture out and do their thing, but you're gonna you're gonna just basically base your whole life and all your decisions and pride and ego off of just a square block mm, of people yeah. when there's 7 billion people in this world and you haven't even, you wouldn't, your whole lifetime you can't even see the whole world and you're worried about this one little block. Yeah, and we'll, and and we'll risk your life. You and you kill yourself for what? And then destroy your family, destroy your own family, your own flesh and blood, your generation it. and your bloodline, all that over... I've seen it over uh, over what a neighbor and the people keep yeah. keep living. Yeah. They'll mourn for a minute, but then they keep on with their lives. Yeah, oh, yeah. And, and someone gets locked up. Oh, the homie's gone. He's yeah. locked up. They'll think about him for a minute. They yeah. go on with their lives. They don't write him. Yeah, I'm they like don't write him. Like yeah, come yeah. on, guys. Yeah, it's like we're just, what are you giving it up for? Are you giving all this shit up for what? Nothing. And what do you own? It's literally nothing. And what do you own? And what are you getting? Do you really own the, the, this area in this neighborhood that you're right. dying for? Do you own it? No. Yeah. You yeah. probably, chances are you're renting or your parents renting. Right. And you only live in that neighborhood yeah. because you live with your parents who happen to move there. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Yeah, you're not obligated to stay there. You're not. There's no obligation. Yeah. Anywhere. You leave, they'll forget about you. If they'll forget about you... You go to prison, they'll forget about you if you leave the neighborhood. Exactly, it's, it's the same. You know, they're, you know, they're they're not gonna stop drinking forties or, you know, doing shit on the patio. It's it's gonna, they're gonna it's, keep doing what they're doing. doing. So it's up to you to break your habit and be able to form a different habit towards success, which is very hard to do. And if you want to give back, that's fine. That's different. Like me, I I want to give back. I want to talk to kids and this and that. But I don't. I don't feel the need to go hang out there. Right. I want to give back. Hey man, if I can motivate you and guide you to to take chances, don't be afraid of failure. Because I was telling my kids, I go, let me tell you something about failure, guys. I go, I go, if you fail, it's fine. It's a part of growing. Go fail. What you fail today? You try anything new? Go and try it. Go fail at it and keep keep it pushing. I said because if you get a bad grade in school, I told them this when they were in like junior high and high school. If you get a bad grade in school. I'm going to see where I got the grade, right? We're going to talk about it. Let's say you get a D. Why don't you get the D? I did my best. I got the D. Whoa, let me help you get a better grade. What can we do to help you get better? But now, if you got a D because you were lazy, mm. then we have to have a different conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if you got a D because you worked hard, you just didn't figure it out, mm -hmm. oh, we'll work on that. That's a time down thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's a time down you know, thing. But people are taught that failure is bad because when they get the F and everybody comes down hard on them yeah. Yeah. in school, now they're afraid to fail. So then they don't realize that kind of puts them in a the box because what if I try this new thing and I fail? Because failure's bad. Yeah. So, so subconsciously, failure's bad. And it makes you feel stupid. It makes you feel dumb. It makes you feel like an outcast. Yeah. It makes you feel like, and then, you know. You don't raise your hand. Why? Because if I raise my hand and say the wrong answer, I'm going to be so embarrassed. You're right. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I had to break that habit in college. Yeah. You know, I think I was getting tutored eight hours a day at a certain point to get, like, I literally would just go and get tutored eight hours a day. But you did it. Yeah. You know? And I was told, I was told by this one teacher one time, he said, if you just show up and you just try. You will pass, but you have to just show up and try, and you'll pass. The motherfucker was right. Like, yeah. Up. Yeah, he was right, you know? And, you know, even if you do fail, I mean, even a D. You will learn something, yeah. dude. D is passing. If you gave yeah. your best yeah. and you get a, 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 a grade that you wouldn't want to get, mm -hmm. you have to still sit and say, hey, I gave my best. Yeah. You know, doesn't mean your life's over. No. You know what I mean? You still got time. You still here. Yeah. You still moving. Let me learn from this, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know, go and fail. Go ahead. I tell my kids, go fail. I'm not going to be mad at you for failing. Did you try it? Did you like it? You didn't like it? Okay, try something else. Did you like it? You enjoyed it? All right, go for it. Yeah. You, you know to, what I mean? Yeah, well, you have to also, you know, fall in love with what you love to do. You know what I mean? Like, thank it, you. You know, you have, to, you have to, like, if you don't love what you do, you're already cutting out half of your life right there making it. And what about the process, right? Yeah. You love what you do, right? And I tell people, right? I, I tell them my son. My son's like, I don't want to do that because I don't like that part. I go, dude, let me tell you something. If you want to be successful, this, 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 to achieve this goal, part of achieving that goal may be a, a, a part of it that you're not going to enjoy doing. But you have to do it to get there, to achieve the goal you want to achieve. So don't think that every part of the, the road is going to be what you enjoy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, well, bodybuilding. Some people are like, dude, I love the training, but the diet. Legs. You want to be great, you're going to have to do the diet. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I hate cardio. You want to be a top bodybuilder? That's your dream? You're going to have to do the cardio. Yep. You know what I mean? They want to do all the part they enjoy, right? right. But, this, but they want to be a champ. You ain't going to be the champ unless you do this part that you just don't like. And you have to love it. Like, I think you have to love it. Right? I mean, I don't know. I mean... You, well, you may not love that part of it is what I'm saying. You yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? that part. But I yeah. mean, but you have to love what you're, what you're focused on. Yeah. If you didn't even like that part, you wouldn't even... I mean, you'd be even more miserable. I ate, I'm right? just saying like with a job yeah. or anything else. like you know, Everything. Yeah, anything in life. But know? I wouldn't... Show, but I'd say some people show up for a job, right? And it's like they hate it. I'm like, well, why are you there? Yeah. Because the money, man. The money. I'm like, well, you got to... Well, stay there for the money if that's what you're about. Already buying your time. You know what I mean? Yeah, I so I say, but you may look back and have a lot of regrets. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I said, but that's your life. It's yeah. your life. If yeah. you can show up and just say, I'll take the money and live for the for Saturday and Sunday and the other five days you're miserable, that's cool if that's if you can do that. Mm-hmm. I just knew I didn't want to live like that. You know what I mean? Two days out the week to kind of enjoy my life and yeah. time's passing. That's eight days a month. I might be looking for, but then Sunday I might have to go to sleep early because Monday I got to start this thing over again. Maybe you get a vacation for two weeks after a year's worth. You know, you know and I'm mean? not knocking people who do that by any means, right? Well, I mean, I'm just if saying. If you're I knew, happy, I'm not knocking you. Yeah. If you're happy, if you're not happy, I'm knocking you. If you if, if you're, you're not, not if you're happy, not happy, I'm, I'm knocking you. I'm yeah. like maybe you need to try something yeah. else. Yeah. Don't be yeah. afraid. Yeah, try you, it. I, I tell everyone if you're not happy, yeah, and you're doing what you, you know, it, it is stupid. You know, I, I think well, I'm not gonna. You're not gonna. You know, I know what you're saying, though. Bible out. You know? No, no, I know. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. It is dumb. Like, I got a buddy you, like why that. Why would you do that? Why would you do anything like? Because they know? feel safe. Yeah, but safe safety is not. You know, it's not living your life. It's not. It's and it's and it's. Well, and, and it, how can you feel safe hating something? Well, you think like an entrepreneur. See, I think yeah. like an entrepreneur. A yeah, lot of yeah. people don't. They they the the paycheck is safe, and that's how. And I'm not knocking no, people. No, it's not. Who, That's no, and not, they're, but for them, it's, it's oh, like they yeah. feel they because feel they like sick. they're like I know I'm going to make this much every two weeks. I can budget around this. Mm-hmm. This is what I get. I know when my vacation time is. I know what time I get off. It's like everything is regimented, right? You know. But for us, sometimes like okay, all right, this month didn't go quite as I right. thought. Okay, and then me, hmm, okay, and then next one. Things, yeah. But you have that power to restructure and maneuver. But here's the thing: it's like who do you think employs your safety? Entrepreneurs, all right. Entrepreneurs are not always safe. Just because they make you feel safe doesn't mean that you're safe. No, Those companies can go laid belly off. up. No, I see. Yeah, uh, dude, some people many, get laid off out of nowhere. Okay, during COVID, how many people got? Ooh, okay, how many people businesses went? Okay, so that's just show you there is no safety in it. So if you're living like that, you should. If you're using it for safety, that you don't have any excuses anymore because you guys have already seen. Yeah. You already seen there is no safety. There is yeah. no safety. You have you have none. Might as well be an entrepreneur. I mean, that's my take. Well, they say, do what you do, your eight hours. And if you have a dream, work on your dream when you get off the oh, job. Yeah. That's your job. It's yeah, not well, your dream. Well, money's got to come from somewhere. Yeah. So, you know? I mean, so you do, do your to, job, yeah. then afterwards, do your dream. Right. And then if your dream can can support your lifestyle, then then don't be afraid to leave your job. Continue exactly. to build that dream. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. But some people, they're just like, I know some people who just, they're job oriented. You get in, it's the same mentality yeah. as living on the block. You get structured, you habit forming, and you feel safe, you're comfortable, you're afraid to leave. I know some people that are afraid to leave. I know some people that just, they get to the city, like, whoa, 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 give me home. They just, they're just too worried. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I was kind of like that when I first went to a really nice restaurant for the first time in my life. I felt so uncomfortable. I was like, man, these people don't want me here. I'm, done, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I had to keep going. I had to force myself 
into like you know being in, and this was just a regular restaurant that was like decent. I was at that Puerto Loco. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, out of here. It was the McDonald's man, the one with the big right. playground. Yeah. <laughs> like they, they had the good balls give me my over chicken there. Give me yeah. <laughs> man, relax. <laughs> but you know, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, no, like yeah. it's habit forming. <laughs> it's habit yeah. forming. The big tank.